What is up, everybody? Lines on Paper here, and breaking news on Screen Rant. Uh, DC Comics will be producing a new book, Batman 89. Uh, that's the title of a book, not a comic book number. And it's going to continue the Batman from Michael Ke Keaton and Tim Burton's Batman universe. Uh, before I get too far into my thoughts on that, my latest book, Malevolent Rising, still funding on Indiegogo. 17 days remain. Uh, we're getting close to the first stretch goal, so I encourage you to check that out. But back to uh, Batman. Uh, so, yeah, so we've got Michael Keaton's Batman is going to be returning. It's going to be one of DC Comics upcoming 97 Batman titles that they are boasting about in the new post future state DC comics. Um, honestly, I was looking at some of the post future state stuff and maybe we'll do a review uh, video based on that. Cause some of that actually had me kind of excited. A few of the Batman books, um, Superman books look kind of anyway, another video. Uh, but this, uh, Tim Burton, Batman's 1989 film, continue the adventure. Um, it's going to include the 1992 Batman Returns. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming this is not going to count Joel Schumacher's two movies that followed afterwards. So maybe we'll get what the idea of a Tim Burton inspired uh, Riddler, Mr. Freeze and Two-Face would have looked like. I know that he wanted to do something with Riddler and Two-Face in sequels, but uh, they never got around to that. So... Um, yeah, I'm excited for this, actually. I love the Batman movie. That, this movie is what got me into comics. Uh, my official comic book collecting days started probably 48 hours after this movie hit theaters, and I saw it for the first time. So, yeah, I'd like to see what they do. It'd be interesting to see um, who they get to to write this book and how they're, and, and honestly to draw it, see how they're able to... Uh, maintain the tone of those Tim Burton movies judging by the picture I'm seeing here I mean that looks quite a bit like Michael Keaton's Batman um, can't really see the city well behind him uh, in case you hadn't seen for those of you who hadn't seen the 1989 Batman first of all what are you doing go watch it also uh, Bat Night Gotham City had a very very stylized look in those movies um, it was definitely a character unto itself which is the way I always think Gotham City should be. I should be able to look at a background and be able to delineate Gotham City from any other city on Earth. It is a very weird, cathedral, old, craggly-looking place, and they really capture that in these movies. Um, but yeah, I am definitely going to be on board for the Michael Keaton Dark Knight uh, Batman 89 comics. I hope they do a good job with it, and I will most likely do a review when the book hits uh, later this year. So more post future state news on the way. I'm glad I can actually talk about something happy and exciting after the dim and dreary week we had last week. But uh, before I go, one last time, Malevolent Rising issue number four at Indiegogo. Please go check that out and I will talk to you soon. Bye.